Hello. Yes, Nick Griffin needs to ditch Jack Sen and rebuild British nationalism. And when I say British nationalism, I mean real authentic British nationalism. Not the pantomime sake as the comedy sketch Hope Not Hates has created masquerading as British nationalism, but real British nationalism. You see, Nick Griffin, you handed British nationalism in the form of the BMP over to Hope Not Hate and its two agents, Adam Walker and Clive Jefferson. So you more than anyone should get back in there and rebuild British nationalism instead of waffling nonsense in the Jackson Hope Not Hate playpen they've put you in. I mean, Christ, you're a glutton for punishments, aren't you? You love these Hope Not Hate spies. If I didn't know you too well, I'd say you were one, but you're not, right? You're just, a, you're either an unscrupulous fucker, right? Or you're dumber than dumb, but I'd rather it was you were dumber than dumb than the unscrupulous one, but who knows? Why are you doing what you're doing? I don't know, especially when you know it's a load of baloney, right? Relocating to the countryside and building white communities, fantasy world, literally, and you know it is, right? So I don't know why you're doing it. Maybe there's a wage in it for you. I just don't know. But you know it's a load of nonsense like you do your Reconquista. And talking of Reconquista, and I don't want to get personal here. I don't want to get personal. Uh, your grandchildren now going through the Reconquista programme, homeschooled, shielded from the liberal poison, and being educated and brought up with the sole purpose of meeting and marrying a fellow uh, racially conscious, racially aware white nationalist to have children and repeat the process. Are your own grandchildren going through? Well, the answer's no. So, you know, the whole thing's a load of baloney that you've invented to save face, maybe... I don't know. I, I don't know why. I don't know why you've done it, but it's a load of baloney. Your own grandchildren, like I said, I don't want to get personal. Your own grandchildren are doing reconquista, whatever you want to call it. So why is anyone else? It's that stupid. But anyway, we've got a chance to turn this back now. Not when we're a tiny, tiny, tiny 1% minority in 100 years' time. Stop talking stupid, right? You know, uh, with present trends, the way they're going, there won't be any white people and... If, if if indeed there are any white people left, they'll all be transgendered loonies and screwballs. So it's not happening. So it's going to happen now or never. And we've got enough people in the country to make it happen. Don't forget, we haven't got to get uh, a full slate of MPs in, uh, in Parliament. We could just get one third or even half of that. Right. That would that would be enough. Right. So I'm telling you, we, we'd win this country back. We have that amount of MPs and we can do it. We can do it. I know we can. Right. So do you. Right. We can win council seats again. We can win council chambers. You know, we can. We nearly won them in Barking and Dagenham and Stoke and Bailey. We can do it again. Real power. That's what you call controlling uh, the communities or white communities being uh, their councillor. Right. Not somewhere down the Cotswolds. You're talking nonsense or even further afield where you live. Right. It's just or oh, we did live in Wales. I don't know where you are now. It's just utter nonsense. But anyway. Uh, Tim Scott, he's another one, works for Hope Not Hate, another ex-soldier, last job for Green and Country, like Adam Walker, same with Jamie Goddard. And while they were doing the Yellow Vest, Yellow Vest blockade on the Westminster Bridge, uh, the Yellow Vest, Jamie Goddard, got into a confrontation with Tory MP and Soothby, uh, which again just demonised Brexit. I uh, made Brexiteers look dangerous, people with dangerous ideas, which is intended to do. You see... Haven't you cottoned on what's happening here? The pantomime and circus, the comedy sketch, it keeps changing every few months, doesn't it? In a few months' time, there'll be the Democratic UK Yellow Vest, won't they? And so on and so on. You know, you can see what they're doing, except electoral politics, which is real power, real control, right? That's how we control our communities, not the fantasy you're coming out with. And on a final note, because I'm busy, I've got things to do. Jack Sam, put this in your calendar. January 2019, I'd like to come on to your resistance radio show, if that's the right word. Uh, and I like the viewers, listeners, should have said, like the listeners, to hear my opinion why I believe you're working for hope, not hate, as opposed uh, to being some white nationalist, which you're not. You're a bogus white nationalist. You, Nick Griffin, I'd like to talk with you as well why your present day approach is a load of nonsense, and you know it is. Or are you going to say no, Jackson? Because everyone else has. No one wants to interview me, talk to me, do an article on me, nothing. Right? It just gets slagged off on Stormfront by open or hate spies. So 
I'm looking forward to that Jackson you know and if I'm talking nonsense a load of rubbish you can shame me once and for all on the internet where I didn't show my face ever again but we shall see I look forward to it Jackson okay thank you